hear me okay? I think, yeah, there we go. Cool. Okay. I was having technical difficulties as always. Okay, cool. Well, I'm good to go. Um, I'm going to turn my light on really quick, too. Just a second, guys. There we go. <clears throat> now I can see a little better in my office. Feel free to say hello when you, when you come on. Um, if you're on Facebook, I can't type you back but I can see what you're saying hi Maddie on Facebook and YouTube cool I always have technical difficulties when I stream through OBS it never fails I don't know why but I think that's like just a common thing so um, I'm gonna wait and see if other people get on here because I think it's just um, I think it's just Maddie and I I wanted to kind of explain what I'm doing here, what I'm working on. And feel free to share the video if you're on. I always like when people share my videos. Helps me get new people in. All right, cool. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and explain it now. Um, but um, I did a, a garbage pail commission. Um, here, I'll just show you. I did this one a few weeks ago, about two or three weeks ago. I did this one. Let me zoom out. It's an old wrestler atom bomb from the 90s. And uh, I really loved it. It's just like probably one of my favorite commissions I've ever done and uh, I did it for a, uh, a top client of mine he's been buying art off of me for two years now and uh, he came to me asking if I could do a customized uh, garbage pill kid uh, for him and I was like yeah let's do it let's try it out see what happens and uh I did it, and, uh, and it turns out it's like one of my favorite things I've ever done. Well, fast forward to like a week or so ago, um, I had an actual uh, wrestler um, contact me. Really awesome dude. He wrestles uh, he wrestles all over the place, down in Mexico and out, out here. He's wrestled here in Houston with Loco Wrestling, and he's wrestled with Lucha Maniacs, few 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 wrestling promotions that I've done art for and uh, he came to me and he's like oh man um, could you do a garbage pail kid of, of, of Mecha Wolf and I was like oh yeah dude that would be awesome because I really dig him um, he's into a lot of the same stuff I'm into and I really love his look and his style so I'll show you what I'm working on um, <clears throat> this is the card I'm working on. I haven't put his name down here yet, but I'm starting to color it. Um, if you look on the sides, this is like my palette, basically, when I color like this. Um, I usually don't go this detailed because it takes longer to color, but for the Garbage Pail Kid card, I really wanted to do the airbrush thing with different uh, values, you know, the same, uh, the uh, different shades of the same color. And uh, so to keep up with like, you know, everything that's like the skin, those are the different tones I use for the skin. And it's like you look at it and you're like, it doesn't look like you use that many colors. But yeah, I do. And then the face paint, um, he wears like white. Here, I'll just show you a picture of the guy. So there he is on the left um, over here. Really scary looking dude, right? But uh, he has like these ice cold blue eyes got the face paint he's got the hair at the top I made his hair a little lighter so you could tell it apart from the from the uh, 
the gear he's wearing. But he wears like this wolf mask, you know, and he's pretty intimidating looking dude. Here I'll show you his whole his whole body. Um Yes, uh Maddie just said say hi if you're if you're on. Just to let me know you're on. That that'd be cool. So um the picture I modeled it after was um actually this one right here. So I like I really like this pose. Um he, he has his uh you know, he has his hands like on his lapels of his jacket and he's got like all these spikes. I love his gear. Super cool looking. He's got like leather all over the place and spikes. So um, I'm just gonna kind of layer, show you all the layers I've done. So, um, hey Amber, thanks for tuning in. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I have him in a cemetery, and there's all kinds of stuff going on. Like right here, there's a skull next to his foot. Um, there's like some ribs poking out, there's a bone sticking out, there's some feet coming out of this one with some toes. This one's trying to get out of the grave behind them. A little bit of the skin's missing. Some, there's some bats over there, another headstone in the background. Shovel with dirt. Trees with moss hanging off of them. No foliage, of course. And then, uh, hey Dave, thanks for saying hi at least can't stay long just wanted to say hi gotta drive cool yeah you can always uh watch the the replay yeah i got a little bit of a cold um i do my voice is a little hoarse right now but um just a just a cold um but uh yeah dude so like it's real detailed uh let me show you guys um kind of how i put these together so let me take the color off. There's the, the shade and then the flat color. So what I do is, um, let me take off the other color. So what I do is I even color the lines with the airbrush. So there's no black lines left. The black lines are just like filler to show me where, where I need to apply the color. And as I color, I just kind of color the lines. Um, and then, uh, here, I'll take uh, the lines off as well, just so you can see. Let me put the sketchy parts in. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Nope, wrong one. Yeah, so these are my blue pencil lines, basically. And then I'm going to show you. So, if you look at it uh, really close, you see this is how I sketch it out. So I sketched it out. Um, I sketch it out first with my blue my blue pencil, and then when I have everything sketched out how I want it, that's when I throw down the black lines. Um, if you look here, I originally had an arm the arm right here, and I didn't like that because I was like, there's some feet already over here. And I was like, there's an arm there. This doesn't make sense. I was like, the arm would actually be cool over this headstone, like it's coming out of there. And then I'll put some ribs popping out of the ground. So that's what I ended up doing. Um, I just inked it, and then I just dragged it over there. But uh, so then the next thing I did after I, after I sketched it is I put down these black lines, which are these right here. And of course, you can't see the arms because they're already colored. Um, if you look on the original atom bomb one I did, you don't see any black lines. I just made it have that airbrush look, you know. So this one's pretty gnarly. It's got all kinds of stuff going on in it, but I had to do it that way just because he's a he's a pretty gnarly looking dude. And if you look, he's pretty tatted up. I also uh, followed the tattoos as close as I could. Um, show you there we go. I did the one over here on his left uh, forearm right here and then uh, 
on his hand. You know, his hands, he's got, like, crazy dragon stuff and runes. He's got, like, the, what is it? I guess it's the Viking runes or whatever. He's got a Misfits tattoo right there. Real big Misfit fan like me. So he's super detailed. But then um, I got the spikes and the buttons. And then um, after I inked him, I went in and then I inked uh, the background next. And then there's the background inks. And then when I get the lines down that I want, I hide the layers that I don't need the, the pencil layers because I don't need those anymore. And then what I do next is I color flat and I just drop it in with a flat color first. The hair I screwed up on and I put it on the flat layer so that's why it looks like that already. <coughs> but it's uh, normally, it'd be flat like everything else like you see with the mask, you know. And so I did the skin first. And I'll do the tattoos last. I gotta put some shininess on the tattoos. But I did the skin first, and then after that I did the face paint and the eyes. And then after that I did the hair, and then the latest thing I've been working on is the collar and the mask. And uh, uh one second guys. So um yeah, the mask I uh, was working on next. But as I color everything in flat, at a, at, you know, one step at a time, what I'll do is I'll shade it. So what I did was I did the left arm first and I shaded it. And then I did the same thing on the other side, just shaded it. I gave them the little dimples over here on the elbow. They always have those little dimples. And then I gave, you know, and then I did his chest next. Did the shading on the chest, gave it some, you know, shading and the light bouncing off of it. And then I did the hands um, with some shading and, you know, light bouncing off of it. And see, so look at the mask. If you look at his face paint, he's got the gray around the eyes. And then he's got the, the red, the red lines around his eyes and everything else and his forehead. So I just did a garbage pail version of him, basically. And then I, I got done coloring the mask. Oh, I'm not done coloring the mask. So um, the next thing I need to do are the teeth on the mask. So if you want to watch, I'll do this for about like 30 minutes to an hour. Just to, hey, Amber, you're on YouTube, too. <laughs> Maddie's on YouTube also. Thanks. My two faithful YouTubers. <laughs> so you're making up like half my viewership right now. That's cool. Um, so... Yeah, so what I'll do next is the teeth, just to kind of show you how I shade it based off of the flat uh, colors. And what I do is I lock the layer, the flat layer, that way I don't color over it. And then I can make corrections if I need to on the shading layer, which I didn't do with the hair and it shows. I, I screwed up on the hair and I just threw it all on one layer and it messed me up. But I think it's okay. Hopefully he's cool with it. Super nice guy, too. I hope I get to meet him at the next show. If he, if he comes, I, I hope he does. It'd be cool to give him a sign it. Um, oh, yeah. So the other thing I need to do is... Uh, let me look. Um, I have numbers for the colors. Kind of a paint-by-number thing or something. Uh, but I do it because... Each uh, shade basically is, uh, each shade kind of varies with the, the shade of the grays that I'm using. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and, if I'm not mistaken, I think this was, um, I gotta get on the right layer first, so there we go. Alright, let's go ahead. Yeah, there we go. So I did do it right. I like putting on the edges just a little bit of light bouncing off the sides of the, each little area. Like if you look over here, 
a little bit of light bouncing off a little bit there too off the top there um, but yeah next thing I'm going to do is uh, each individual tube so you guys can see how long this takes <laughs> it's no joke um, let's see and I think 28 I had like each percentage basically is like uh, what I do uh, with each shade of gray so like 28 is darker and then the li the lighter it gets the higher the number it is so at a 28 percent shade I'm gonna throw down a shadow under this little oops wrong that's light throw down a shadow in here and it's just good to study the way light bounces off of stuff um, that's always a good thing to do I've been doing this for so long now that I kind of naturally know for the most part. A lot of times I'll have to use look at references, but I'll show you guys one thing. To get that Garbage Pail Kid look, um, I've uh, been looking at Garbage Pail Kid cards. Like there's an Ozzy Osbourne one. There's a Cemetery thing. I kind of got that uh, deal going from the Ozzy card. And I was really looking at this Monopoly game, Garbage Pail Kids. A lot of, man, I love the art for Garbage Pill Kids. It has not changed much over the years. There's a Stone Cold one. I was looking at that, too. But uh, it's fun stuff, man. They, they just, they've been holding strong since the 80s, and they do a really good job of it, of uh, keeping it funny over the years. Hi, T. I'm working on a commission right now, so I'm, I sound a little under the weather because I am. I got a little bit of a cold. So if I sound a little funny, my bad. <laughs> um, let's see. So a little bit of a light there. So then um, I put like a little bit of a darker light to bounce off of it, and then I go even brighter after that. Oh, thanks, T. Yeah, this is a... Here, I'll, let me zoom out to show you everything. So, um, this is who I'm basing it off of. This wrestler named Mecha Wolf. He contacted me a week or so ago, and he had, he uh, sent me pictures of himself. And he's like, can you please turn me into a garbage pail kid? Because he saw this one that I did. And he he loved it. And I love it, too. I, I It's like one of my favorite things I've ever done. And then he's like, can you turn me into one? So I was like, yeah, man, I'd love to do that. So he sent me pictures, and this is what I based it off of. Same pose, except I put them in a cemetery. <laughs> so, And it's all, like, different layers. I was showing everybody at first when I signed in. There's, uh, like, pencil layers and things. Um, so there's, like, blue line. All sketchy at first. So, yeah, I'm just going in and putting colors down. So, um, let me go in here. And what I love about this is, like, I basically just airbrush it. That's all I'm doing. Um, just like the Garbage Pail Kids stuff. Except I don't think they airbrush theirs. Theirs are more like, I don't know about now. It seems like it might be just digital. But uh, I, uh, I airbrush it. And it still looks like the Garbage Pail Kids stuff for the most part when I do it that way. That's what I'm sticking with. And then, um, oh, that should have been 71, not 73. Oh, well. I don't think it'll matter. So then I just give it a little bit more of a bright light around the edges, since that's how I'm bouncing the light off of. Um, inside, I'll leave alone. So then I'm going to go to the next inside T. So here we go. <clears throat> and then, um, no, 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 no. So, oops. So like I was mentioning before, I'm just basically following the um, light pattern here. And what's cool about it is, since it's on another layer, I can kind of erase. And then I'll 
hill over here. Oops. Kind of put some Actually, I don't want to do too much on, on the inside teeth. The outer edge, I think, is good to, good to do it to. But yeah, there we go. That's a little better. And then maybe just a tad over here. Those teeth look vicious. <laughs> Thanks, Corey. A vicious garbage pelt, dude. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So I'm going to do the same thing on this next one. For me, it helps me to do one at a time on the, since it's basically just, you know, symmetrical and a mirror image. Just so I remember how I'm coloring this stuff, I want it to stay consistent. Um, so that's how I do it. And like I said, guys, feel free to share the video. Um, and don't forget, check out my website. I got my little ticker going on at the bottom just to remind you where to, you know, besides Facebook, where to catch me. Or if you want to refer someone to me for some business, whatever you like. If you just want to check out my website just unprompted, go ahead. I need to update it a little bit, but um, for the most part, it's pretty up to date. Just need to add some new pieces in there. Do the gums next in general crash. All right. <laughs> Only Maddie would get that. <laughs> That's from a $20 video. That's all I'll say. All right. So on this, I'm kind of just going to leave for the most part dark, I think. Just like barely, this ain't so pressure sensitive, too. That's what's great about it. So it's like you just barely tap it, and uh, you uh, <coughs> excuse me, you get like a good variation on the, on the pressure of the colors. Your son, tell your son I said hi. Hope he's doing well. I'm going to save because it's really important to hit save every five minutes. Um, especially on something like this, if you don't hit save for like 20, 30 minutes and you put a bunch of shades down, oh man, it's a nightmare. I've done it too, way too many times. <clears throat> hey, Tori, um, the shirts for Loco... Um, he doesn't, I'll find out what he has because, uh, he doesn't have much right now. He's got to go get more prints for the next show, but, uh, he has a new one coming out too. So if you want that one, um, I can tell him to snag me a medium because I know that's what the size he said you wear. So I'll let you know that last show was amazing. It's probably where I got sick from, but it was well worth it. Um, it was, a uh, Really good show. Rhino was there. Rhino wrestled against uh, Mil Muertes from Lucha Main, uh, Lucha Underground, and uh, it was an awesome show. Oh my goodness! All right, yeah, I like those teeth. Those teeth are cool. Oh, man, you're a nice dude, too, man. You gave us that awesome book. Gave me a Funko Pop before. So nice. Too bad you live all the way out in California, dude. Um, don't know when I'm going to California anytime soon. I have family that lives not far from you. They live in uh, uh, Cyprus. They're actually coming to visit pretty soon. A couple of my cousins.
goes T. I like that the fangs look good. And then um, after I get all this colored, I got to go in. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I got to go in and color the lines so they're not black anymore. See that how I have the shade here? And then um, over here, I colored some lines on the collar, the hair, all that. So yeah, this stuff's like time consuming, but it's well worth it, especially when you get paid pretty good for it. <laughs> well worth it. This dude was with Ray Mysterio last weekend. We took pictures with him and his son. That was pretty cool. At a wrestling show out in Tijuana. Tijuana, Mexico. I follow him on Instagram, so it's cool to see that stuff. Ah, so your your cousin lives in Texas. It's cooking in California right now. We've had a uh, Unseason. It's starting to warm up now, finally. Um, but we've had some really low temps the last few weeks for uh, May. Usually it starts getting in the 80s by the time May hits. And it's just now getting there. I was like, man, it's weird. Really strange weather, weather patterns. I bet that was a good show out there too. I love I love Lucha Libre. So what's cool about Loco is basically Lucha Libre meets ECW. It's like ECW and Lucha together in one show. It's really fun to watch. Crazy though, because you got to be aware at all times. Those dudes can land on you, and they, I don't want them landing on me. So yeah, you really got to pay attention. Yeah, dude. Um, you can watch it on YouTube, but it's like it's all broken up. It's not like all the way through. Like on um on the YouTube on YouTube they have it match by match, but uh, it's still great to watch, man. It's good stuff. They put on a hell of a show, man. It's really cool to do the uh, the artwork for it. That's for sure. All right, so the top set of teeth are done. Um, I think that looks good. Like I said, I gotta go in and take the lines out that are that are um, black and change those. So I'm gonna hit save. I think that's a good spot to hit save. Um, I'm probably gonna go for another 20, 30 minutes and call it a night because I've been up since really early. Yeah, and Maddie's like, you're sick, so whatever. <laughs> um, Tori, if you're still on, um, yeah, Title Match Network, if you subscribe, it's like $9.99 a month. Um, but it's cool because it's like all, all indie stuff from all over. And also, Title Match Network, if you go to... Um, if you go on YouTube, they got a lot of cool shoot interviews with legends on there. Like, uh, you know, Roddy Piper and stuff before he passed away. Really good stuff. All right, enough of the wrestling talk, though, even though I am doing wrestling art, because that's mostly what I do nowadays. Um, yeah, I'm just going in here, kind of shading this bottom part. And then um, what I'm going to do, oops, what I'm going to do next is kind of get little bit in there. Oh. <laughs> I was like, something's not right. I was using the pencil right there. There we go. That's a little better. Yes, and it supports the business. That's true.
Yeah, the AC's been on, but I mean, it's still not like Houston hot yet. I, I say that now, it's probably going to be like hot from here to October in a little bit, but May was not as hot as it normally is, in my opinion. Yeah, it really was. Yeah, or, yeah, I, I fully expect summer to be nasty. Yeah. <coughs> Alright, so... brighter on the edges. Just right, right in here. Maybe on the tops too. Just a little bit at the top. Right through that hole. Okay, so I'm going to hit save one more time because I have everything the way I want it, shading wise. One second, guys. Okay. So yeah, feel free to share um, the video, guys. I don't mind. It always helps me to get new people watching. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to go ahead and lock the line layers. And what's cool about this is it only colors the lines. So... Okay, so these are the line things that go with. You'll see what I'm talking about. So I just kind of get the eyedropper. I get the eyedropper and I dab it just a tad there. And then I start coloring. You see the lines kind of basically disappearing. But they don't match up all the way at first. So I just do it till it matches up. See, and then the lines disappear. I'm going to erase a little bit too at the top right here because I'm a perfectionist. Like anybody would even pay attention to that except for me, but it's just how I am. I want it to look good. I can't help it. Just how I do it. All right, so then over here on the other side, um, it's a little darker, so I'm going to go in here. Kind of match that a tad. Yeah, it is on like 10 months out of the year. It's crazy. I hate the weather here. I hate the weather here. All the hurricanes and the flooding and stuff. But nowhere you live is perfect. That's for sure. There's no, as far as I know, there's not. I don't know. I could be wrong. back in here uh, hey it's Hoovy. hey y'all go check out um, Hooven to uh, hey what's up Clinton Millsap one of the best artists on the planet that I know and I'm not exaggerating guys check out his work friend him Friend them, you see amazing work. I'm doing this little uh, garbage pill kid uh, commission. 
um, right now. That's what I'm working on. I did this one a couple of weeks ago. So, um, I really, really was digging the way it came out. And this guy over, this scary looking guy in this window on the left, he uh, contacted me and wanted one as well. So he has me doing one for him. Thanks, man. That's that means a lot coming from you. I appreciate the compliment. Yeah, I got to see Hooven too wrestle um, at the Loco show in Houston. I didn't, I, I didn't get to talk to anybody um, like I did at the last Loco show. But um, hopefully, when you guys come back, we'll be able to talk next time. starting to look pretty good I love that because like <clears throat> those lines disappear it just looks really good it starts to look like those old school garbage pill kid cards you know and for some reason looks like I have a line overlapping so I'm going to erase that there we go back in here just little feather touches you know just little just little dabs here and there oops a little too bright This line over here yeah feel free to share the video guys like I said before um, and I don't know who all is on right now I see three people on Facebook so I'm pretty sure you know where to follow me but just in case you don't those are the places you can follow me follow me on uh, Instagram up at the tops my um, Thanks, Tori. Appreciate it. Up at the top is my website. Um, next is my email. It's really small. Don't worry about my email. Just message me here on Facebook. I answer faster through Facebook anyway. For the, if I, I, you know, when I'm on Messenger, I answer pretty fast. Um, also, uh, you can catch me on Instagram. I always need followers on Instagram. I love Instagram so much. Uh, I love it more than. Um, Facebook to be honest <laughs> um, it's just it's strictly art um, it's just it's a great place to see all these incredible artists out there and a lot of the ones I grew up uh, that I still idolize the day are on there and every now and then you never know some of them throw you a cool compliment and that always motivates me to do um, even better with my art um, I really have to push it to the limit because, you know, I'm, uh, some guys just spit up, spit out stuff like it's nothing. And I'm, I have to really think about it when I work on, on art, I have to put it all together. And, um, my brain's like really, it's just different the way it works. <laughs> Oops. 
I'm on the wrong layer. That's why nothing's happening. Okay. Yeah, thanks for sharing the video, uh, Tori. I appreciate it. Alright, so now I'm going in here on this part. Oops. Wrong layer. There we go. Yeah, see, it's looking pretty good. I like it. I like it. So the next thing I'm going to do is throw some uh, throw some dark colors on these lines. See, look at all how involved this is. Just for for a you know little cartoony looking deal. Um, people don't realize what all goes into it um, a lot of times. A lot of work, but I love it. I love it. I, I have fun with it. It's not like it's like work work. <laughs> it's fun work. See, it's looking more leathery too, because that's what it's supposed to be. It's kind of a leathery type uh, material he's got going on. show the separation um, from the uh, yeah it's good to show just a little bit of separation on some of these areas so I might there we go not so harsh there we go Those lines are covering up really well now. All right, so then um, I'm going to go in here, add this little bit of the of the light as well. On this end. pretty cool and uh, for some reason what line is that oh weird I don't remember doing that but whatever sometimes I forget what layer I have stuff in Um, 
so we can uh, just kind of doctor that up a tad. Uh oh, you okay? Maggie's freaking out. I think she saw a bug or something. You okay? Uh oh. Oh gosh. <laughs> that means our dogs are gonna be. Our dogs are scared of bugs. Can you believe that? They're not scared of thunderstorms. They're scared of bugs. I've never seen that before. Every dog I've ever had is scared of thunderstorms, not bugs. They usually, they usually attack bugs. Okay, so... If you look on this left side compared to the right, you see the, the lines are kind of disappearing here. You mean where the splashing takes place? Splashing? Yeah. I don't know that you're live anymore. Oh, I don't know. Nope, you're up. Wait. It says I'm live on all platforms. Oh, you're on platform. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't hmm. know. My app has not been working with this so very well at all today. It's showing over here. Okay, I'll get over to get that. Okay. Okay, guys, sorry about that. All right, so I'm going to do just a little bit more in here, and I'm going to call it a night because it's getting late for us because we're early birds. Besides that, I've been drawing all day for, yeah, drawing and started in on the coloring. So it's really cool though to make those lines disappear. I just love that. I love that look. It's not my typical uh, cartoony style that I do. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah, this is a dude. It was a lot of work to make it look like this. Um, I decided sometime last year. Uh, Clinton, I decided uh, I wanted to make my live streams a little bit different because I see like YouTubers. That was a good time to hit save, actually. I see a lot of YouTubers and people um, doing the lives and they have like cool graphics. And I looked it up and I was like, oh, okay. So you have to use like this thing called OBS. And I had no clue what it was. I didn't know. I, I really don't know much of uh, any of this stuff. I just, <laughs> just learn it. Um, just like the program I'm using, Clip Studio, um, I had to kind of just learn it on my own because I, you know, I used Photoshop and things like that. But that's basically, long story short, how I got my live streams looking like this was just putting in these long tutorial sessions on how to do this graphic codes and all this stuff and. Uh, show cards and it's very time consuming but it's worth it because it in the end the result looks pretty good I remember uh, oh I need to call Mark I just remember that he was asking me about all this and I was like dude uh, it takes it I mean if you give me like a few days to sit and try to figure out what all you're trying to do maybe but I, it was like a huge process for me <laughs> so he ended up getting somebody else to do it for him. 
But his look good, too. He's really been stepping up, too, with his lines. I need to call him back. But, yeah, thanks for the compliment. I appreciate it. I'm going to get this to... There we go. A little bit better. It'd help if I narrowed the brush, too. There we go. That's part of my problem. problem. I had my brush too wide. Do you prefer these type of streams than over flashy? Yeah, I, I try to keep it at a minimum. Like, I have my ticker here that, you know, I have like, oh man, buy my books. You know, how cool. I don't do it enough. <laughs> but, uh, ever since the lockdowns have ended, uh, my live my live stream crowds have kind of dwindled. Um, I don't and I don't do it on a regular schedule like I used to either. So it's not just that, but um, I definitely uh, you know don't have to click on anything too much because it's always you know it's typically the same folks that watch these um, when I'm when I'm doing them. All right, this is taking me forever. Just go in here. There we go. As I say that, I'm back out and give it this little spot over here. Okay, that took forever, but it's, it, it worked. All right, so yeah, I like the way it's looking on this side. Um, starting to look, it's starting to blend in all together. It was really dark. This, this area over here is super dark because of the collar. And then you have like, you know, the leather shining in certain areas. But uh, yeah, that's basically kind of the process of, coloring this um I can show you guys one thing really quick that I do that's a lot quicker than this method of coloring but the only reason I'm doing it is because I really want the colors to pop so you know I use my my palette on the um hang on I'm hit, I had to hit save um I had to hit save yeah okay so yeah as you, like I said at the beginning I got my my pat my colors that you know I dip from when I first start shading. Um, these are pretty simple because it's just different shades of gray. But uh, <clears throat> oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do was show you a quicker process, and it's basically um, using um, filters on your layers. <clears throat> yeah, I don't. Uh, Tori, I agree with you. I don't like a lot of windows popping up all the time. Um, some people have stuff all over their stream. I like popping it up every now and then. And then, it, you know, just kind of having it go back to, to what it was. It gets distracting. I don't like to distract. Okay, so let me show you guys really quick what I'm talking about. And then I'm going to call it a night. Because I sound like garbage. <laughs> All right, so uh, let me minimize that. So let's just say, like, I don't know. I'm just sketching out a little head really quick. Just a quick uh, head here. Whoa.
I'm just trying to do this really fast. So it's not going to look the best. So it's like a really messed up Donald Duck. He's like all out of proportion, but you'll see what I'm doing. So then the next layer, um, I'm going to do is really fast inks to show you this. This is a horrible Donald Duck, but I'm going really fast, so. really fast it's not gonna look bad it's not accurate <laughs> okay so I got the lines down um, so let me show you what I'm talking about um, this in here and then we'll say um, oops oh, that's why So this is very sloppy, but I'm just trying to show you really quick what I do. And then the beak, um, about right there. Okay. And then over here is the white. Oh yeah, it's gonna, yeah, I'm gonna need to close it off over here because there's a gap. Okay, I think everything's closed off. So then, um, whoop, wrong layer. Okay, cool. So then um, what I was talking about is I'll do like one layer, like it maybe 30% opacity, and that's for the shade. And then another one at 28% opacity. And the, the, what that means is uh, how much you can see through it. So you can only see about 20 28% of the, the light, and then I'll do light. You can't see what I'm doing because I don't have my layers listed on the, I, I just zoom in on my uh, canvas basically, and then dark. And then on the light layer, um, I, do, uh, I do add, and then on the dark layer, I do this one, this one filter called uh, linear burn. And then what you do is, I don't know, let's say kind of a reddish, kind of dark reddish. So then um, all you do is you just kind of go in here. I'll show you how fast it is. See, I don't know how, you don't even have to really do a palette thing, see? And that's too red. So I'm going to darken it up just a tad more, kind of make it, there we go, there we go, it's perfect. See that though? I don't have to change the colors every five minutes like I was doing with the with the uh, other deal. Because it's a filter, it's basically, it's basically doing a, a, a burn. It's like burning the, the color, you know. So it's really cool. It's a time saver. This other one, I'm going like color by color, like an actual painting, adding layers of different colors. But with my typical comic book stuff, I just do like a filter layer. And then um, for the uh, for the light part, do something about like a high high yellow. And you'll see what I'm talking about here. See. And you can kind of change it up too. You can make it a little brighter. Let's 
So that's basically what it was talking about. So that's a lot quicker than, than what I'm doing here, but I really want it to look good with the color variation. So that's why I'm doing it this way in the garbage pill stuff. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. I just wanted to show you what I'm working on, the latest thing. Um, I'll, I'll probably, I'm hoping sometime tomorrow I'll post the rest of it or so, um, just depending on what all I have going on. But uh, it'll be done soon. You'll see the final product. You got to get it. You got to uh, see a little sneak peek of what I'm working on. And uh, I have like <laughs> three or four other things I got to get done. So, um I am always in a bind and trying to get stuff in, but I'm always taking work. So if you know anybody that needs work, hit me up. Um, oh, thanks, Jason. I just noticed you said um, looking good. Garbage pill kid AJ Lee. Yeah, yeah that'd be pretty cool. Um, I have um, a couple more I'm going to do. Um, one's a gift that I'm doing, and then another one's like a, just a personal one. That I think would be pretty funny to do if I ever have time to do it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Um, see, it looks like there's four of you on Facebook. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'll try to get back on here maybe tomorrow night. I don't know. We'll see. If not tomorrow night, next week sometime. But uh, I'll talk.